So let me ask you a question about like um, for our app developer.intel.com, yeah, right? Yeah. So there is this developers who are wanting to build applications for us. Do you have any advice for them in terms of like what are the really good compelling applications that they can think about? Um, you, you mentioned a couple, like on social networking, yeah, on video yeah. editing, on games and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are there are there areas that you think in terms of like how people are using it that will make these applications really interesting, making them want to buy those apps and because of the apps making them want to go buy networks? You know, first of all, I, I would just uh, tell them, you know, that I lo would love them to join this program in general right. because right now, uh, by the end of this year, we will have about 45 to 50 million networks in the market. That means you guys can get a platform, a community to reach out to millions and millions of potential users and customers for you. Right. The way you can monetize your work with a central app store that you guys are building right now, you know, it's, 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 it's just fantastic for the single developer, maybe a coffee house developer, a coffee correct, store correct. developer, yeah. right? So, and on the other hand, um, I think a lot of people, after I publish uh, the news on my German blog, uh, that you are announcing an app store. They couldn't really get it, the ordinary user. Hey, why do we need an app store for a network, network right? Yeah. I can download all kinds of software. But uh, right now, we're using a 10-year-old desktop operating system on a mobile device. You know, and uh, I think the user scenario with an app store and the possibility that developers will create, because we will see completely new user scenarios. We will see applications. We both might not even think of right think, now. exactly. I mean, no five years from this. now, exactly. like you know, how the usage model will be like very different. So, yes. So, um, well, I definitely think um, you know you need to make sure that this is a small mobile computer. This is not your ordinary desktop. This also isn't a smartphone. So, um, take care of its specifications. Correct. Right? Um, you, you need you need to know it has lots of battery life, which gives you, you know, this, uh, yes. Uh, uh, this this could drive your ideas or force your ideas into some very very interesting directions. Um, a lot of networks are also coming to the market now with GPS already. Yeah, so especially yeah. when we're talking about this location-based services again, Correct. in combination with an internet connection, I can do very very accurate uh, positioning. And there are some networks that are coming up with touchscreen and stuff, so oh, you can yeah. access exactly. Well, right? touchscreen. So. Think about um, Asus is going to launch for EPC uh, the EPC T101H and the EPC T91M, uh, uh, which comes with a multi-touch screen even. So yeah, these are exactly. absolutely new possibilities for developers. Combining this with a device that is fully capable of running most of the application that you know from a desktop because of its performance, still have long battery life, still is super small. I think that you know there's the possibilities for doing for developing on this platform, you know, uh, are just enormous. Yeah. And um, it's hard to tell right now, okay, it would be this application, it would be that application. I think uh, we kind of have to learn a little bit from the smartphone market, we kind of have to learn a little bit what kind of software is uh, available for notebooks, even for desktops. It will be a kind of mashup. That will that'll be great. Yeah. So, well, I've just been reminded that we are actually on a video. So oh. somebody is actually shooting a video and like, you know, totally kind of, because this is such a kind of a conversation, Shasha, that we've yeah. been having over the last couple of days. And then they just put us back here and we've just been talking and talking. And of course, like, you know, they have to take this video uh, back and post it, right? A couple of okay. hours. Yeah, it's for a moment, I just forgot that we were on video. So anyway, I'm again, Ajay Mungaryo. I'm the community manager for Intel Adam Developer Program. And uh, like you know, um, I'm the voice for all the developers, right? If you guys have any feedback, if you guys have any thoughts, um, like you know, please come over to our community, join us on appdeveloper.intel.com, um, and I'm there. I'd like to hear. Uh, I mean, let's build things together that would change the way people would use or perceive that what is possible on a network. So I need your help as a developers to make that happen. So let's make it. Let's cross this journey together. Okay. So with people like Sasha around, so I think like anytime you hear anything from your community on yeah. what they would like to see, yeah. please feel free to connect with me. I will and uh, do that. Okay? okay, nice meeting you. Nice yeah, meeting thank you, you. Thank very thank much. So it was a great conversation. Great. Thank you.